Hi guys! So the question today is, what would I do at a Klondike bar? Well, the other day I was thinking I would love to do something with a Klondike bar in a blender. So I call this recipe a Blondike Raspberry Mousse. So let's see, and it's very simple. I went into the refrigerator and I found my wife's Jello. It's dark cherry Jello or black cherry Jello and sugar free. And she had some left over. I made some fresh here. I made it a little bit thicker. You do it with, um, instead of a, a full cup of water, of hot water and a full cup of cold water, you make it with three quarters cup of hot water and make sure everything's dissolved and then um, put um, the cold water in and let it set for a while. So you gotta prepare that a little bit. But once that's done, this is like a blast. It's so much fun to put together. So uh, first thing you gotta do is make sure you cut your Klondike bar and this is the Klondike bar. This is the dark chocolate. I find this is the best kind to use because it gives you uh, sort of that truffle feel to it. So um, we're going to cut it in fourths. And I like to cut them in the wrapper. Keeps them together a little bit better. I used to do this when my four daughters were young. I would give them each a half of a Klondike bar. And they sort of rue the day that I did that because but the good part is that now that they get full Klondike bars, they really appreciate them. So at least that's what I say. Anyway, so we're going to alternate putting Jello. That's, this is a large teaspoon here. So I'm, I'm gonna put some in, just throw some in there. And then we're gonna alternate putting the parts of the Klondike bar in there. You want to do maybe about 50% of it. It's very fun. Put that in there. It's very fast too. If you're looking for something quick to make, you can even get like the, the store jello. It probably doesn't work quite as well, but put that in there. Once again, a little bit more. And lastly, put the last one in here. So we'll put that over here for now. Oh, and since we have lots of, lots of fresh raspberries, I'm gonna throw a couple in here too. Let's just put some raspberries in. That'll sort of help to take the black cherry flavor and turn it a little bit more raspberry. So maybe four raspberries in there, just for the fun of it. And here we go. Put it on your little blender thing. should come out. When I first opened it up, I was so surprised because if you look at it, it has sort of a jiggly kind of uh, texture to it. It's very fun. So just like a mousse. So we're going to put it now in some pretty dishes. Make sure you get some pretty dishes because Valentine's Day is coming up and you want your Valentine to be very impressed with your dessert. So let's put this on here. Just sort of spoon it in. Put this over here. And the really cool thing about it too is I had this in the freezer in the refrigerator for several hours before serving it, and it still maintained. It didn't uh, melt like ice cream would. 
that the gelatin sort of kept the, the ice cream cold too. So spread that out, make it look yummy. And then you can throw some raspberries on top just to give it a little bit of a special flair. red Valentine's Day dessert. So I hope you give it a try with you and your Valentine.